Thanks for stopping by. I'm Angel, and this video is about Papercrete. Over here, I'm building myself a kind of a crazy project by many human standards. Got some glass going into this structure. Over there, you can see one of my mega sculptures, the head hut. Needs a little repair. And uh, here's the foo dog. Looking cool for the fall. Anyway, those structures are made with papercrete and glass. And papercrete is a sort of a construction uh, construction. What am I trying to say? Like uh, scaled up from paper mache to construction uh, zone. So the basics are paper, water, sand, and Portland cement. I also like to use uh, type S lime, hydrated lime. Um, I'm pretty much like making pancakes, I like to say, which is very similar dough. So I added just a couple of shovelfuls of builder sand. That's a, got a tooth to it. That's the whole point of it. And I pre-soaked this shredded paper that I got from a friend of mine who works in an office um, and hit it with this low speed drill a little bit with, uh, let me show you here. We'll switch hands. Watch out, it's gonna be loud. Maybe you can see that. <laughs> that is a stucco attachment. Um, so I added a couple of shovelfuls of that. I'm gonna add a shovelful or two of Portland cement. I'm almost, uh, almost done with this bag and it's been sitting a while so you can see it's kind of chunky. Papercrete is very forgiving now. I'm not using it for load bearing. I'm putting it in as infill. So uh, this is indeed chunkier than I usually would like but you know I'm still going to use it. Now lime. Don't do this at home kids without a mask. I'm going to put about a shovelful or two of lime powder. I'm gonna, then I'm going to hit it with this drill, mix it all up, schlep it in there. I'm going to see if I can pause you and come back when it's all mixed up. It's a little too loud and show you around a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Check out the description for ways you can connect with me and support me if you're into that sort of thing. And I thank you if you do. And uh, yeah. Hang on a sec. Let's see if I can get you to pause. All right, I'm back. Uh, this is a little bit stiffer than I sometimes like. And we saw some of those chunks going in. I'm not gonna bother trying to break those up because they're useless. I'll throw them away and just take them on out and mix in. But um, you see, you end up with this kind of doughy stuff this is a nice consistency much like bread dough um you could make it stiffer or less stiff you can squeeze the water right out of it it's kind of a interesting stuff so you can compress it or not compress it um yeah paper creep check it out let me know if you have any questions and check out some of my other videos if you're interested ciao for now oh let me give you a little, a little tour now that I got my hand dirty. Let's see what I'm doing. It's quite messy right now because I haven't cleaned it up. Those are more cleaned but not finished. And this row here is um, totally unclean. And then up here I got this blue row, um, which are flipped up and down. Those are unfinished. Some Voss, experimental Voss bottles here. And uh, show you the head hut where I made these papercrete feather leaf eyelashes. A couple of them broke in the wind, but in general it's been a pretty successful. This also has a lot of pumice in it, which is not in that mix over there. Let me know if you have any questions. Ciao for now.